Okay, Lady Ada, what is this? <laughs> uh, we're um, testing out um, a board. I'm getting back into some hardware after spending a way too many weeks doing tariff math and analysis and, and dealing with our supply chain. Um, so this is the Sparkle Motion Stick. And for folks who remember, I actually started this design kind of back in November. I got like during the holiday season, some of these, well, this had like a little pixel LED, NeoPixel thing on the end. And this has like a, a cheapy Bluetooth chip and it has like an app that you would use to control it. Um, it's only powered over USB. You can, you can see there's no data lines. And the chip is like BLE only. And then there's a couple modes, there's like a button, but I liked this idea of like a stick. And then um, I found this USB case that snaps, it's kind of a generic USB case and it has a, has a button, which I really liked. I like the button. And you designed the PCB around an existing yeah. case. Yeah, so this was like, you know, this was just like me getting the design yeah. kind of started and then trying to get it to fit into the case and like I screwed up a little bit and then, um, you know, I realized I had to extend this out like a little bit more and I tweaked some things. One thing that was actually an interesting tweak, speaking of this, you know, um, audio reactive mode, is on the original design, I put the microphone here, but actually, See how it's really close to the, the body of the ESP32? This was actually, the mic wasn't working. Like data was coming out, but it was all zeros or very low values. It wasn't reacting to audio. And I think what happened is um, the flux from yeah. the, the paste on the ESP32, because there's a lot of pads underneath, would leak out and it would clog into the hole. So on this version, I actually put the mic on the opposite side. And it's okay that it's close to the ESP because the hole is That's I kind of made a little bit of space. I gave it like a millimeter or two around. And um, now it's working great. It was great. So yeah, what I like is that, you know, we're gonna have this low cost translucent case. The ESP is on the bottom. There's a nice, you can even see the ground plane is removed. So a nice big um, area free of interference. Um, this button. And then, you know, there's an infrared receiver here. There's an onboard LED, power LED and uh, signal LED if you, if you look up here. So power good LED. Um, this is a signal LED. There's a light pull up on this I have to remove um, and a built-in NeoPix. So you can also use this for, you know, Arduino or um, CircuitPython or MicroPython work. But of course, it's great for WLED. And this is the uh, GEQ demo, just me testing out that the uh, microphone's working. So um, you know, a little bit of a long video, but just wanted to catch up on, on the multiple yeah. designs that uh, we've gone through. But this is ready to go. Going to book this. Um, yeah, unfortunately, espresso chips are tariff now. So this is going to be a little bit more expensive. Um, than, than, you know, used to be, but, um, you know, using engineering design, I'm going to try to keep the cost as low as possible. Using an off-the-shelf case helps, right? No 3D printing, no injection molding. Um, so get this into the shop in a couple of weeks. Well, that said, it's 12.17 p.m., April 29th, 2025. Everything could be different and changed by the time this video is uploaded. That's true. I haven't checked CNN. This is not medical advice. <laughs> okay. Ooh, do, 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 do.